So I went to edit the video and I realized that I didn't actually introduce what this video is going to be about. So this is the completed bike, but uh, what you're about to see is the completion of me installing the Lifen 125 semi-automatic motor in this 1976 CT70 that I had already completed but decided to transplant uh, the motor that I had put in there into the 1970 bike uh, that I'm working on and again finishing this up for the second time with the semi-automatic motor. Uh, so this again just has the uh, installation process or rather just a quick montage of me putting it all together as well as some of the differences between the semi-automatic and the manual transmission motor that I've uh, noticed so far. First start. Two hours later. So there's a few things I want to point out that I appreciate more about this motor than I did uh, the manual version of it. Uh, they're all pretty small things. One though is that it has this clip here for the spark plug wire. Uh, before on the other bike, the wire actually came down and touched the exhaust pipe a bit. I covered it up here, but you can see where it got a little melted and I put this cover over so that you couldn't see it. But this prevents this wire from coming and touching the, the exhaust pipe, just something that's pretty simple. There's also a little more clearance here uh, between the peg and the engine casing. On the other bike, it was pretty much flush, and this was the only kickstand assembly that I could find that would fit at all. Um, but this one fits with lots of space to give. Uh, the kickstarting actually seems to be easier, too. The other one sometimes gets a little bit caught up. That may just be a break in thing, but uh, right there where I was giving it a first start, all the kicks seemed pretty good. Um, so that's on this side. Then over here, uh, the way that the carburetor's angled, it tucks my air filter in quite a bit more. So if you look at it from the profile, it's uh, pretty much aligned with the bike. So the other one was angled similarly, but not quite as much. So I'm a fan, I'm a fan of that. And then this is a big deal to me that uh, the carburetor has this 90 degree bend so that it's not coming straight up and hitting the top of the frame but coming straight towards the front of the bike so that it can loop up uh, to the rest of the assembly. And as I mentioned in the inboxing, the shifter is also much better looking. Uh, it looks like the way that this is designed, the shift rod is flush with the engine and then this comes out quite a bit to um, be in a nice position for your peg. Just looking here at the other engine, you can see that this isn't a 90 degree bend and it goes straight up so the throttle cable inevitably hits a little bit of this frame. I don't think it's enough to really damage it, but again, I just prefer the 90 degree bend. And then you can see here where the shift rod comes out about an inch beyond the casing of the engine so that it just has a straight lever that comes out. I did find though that the choke on the manual version feels a little more robust than it did on the semi-automatic version. But honestly, I don't think that's something that I'll ever really use. On this bike, every time I started it, I left it in full open and didn't have a problem either starting or running with it always in the same position. So I assume it'll be the same case for the new engine.
All right, so finished for the second time. I've got the Life in 125 semi-automatic motor in here now. And again, I like the way that it looks with the black. Uh, I was also able to get the engine guard installed with the uh, black secondary part of the guard here and got it to fit all around the, the exhaust. Originally, I tried and wasn't able to, and I posted uh, in an earlier video about my inability to get it on, and Mini Bike Mike said, hey, this should actually fit, you just need to tweak it a bit. And it did require a bit of tweaking, but I was able to get it on, so really happy about that because I think the engine guard, for as goofy as it looks, really completes the look of the bike. And uh, for me, remembering how these bikes looked when I was a kid, you know, definitely had that part of the frame shaping out that, that boxy part in the middle there. So uh, real excited about that. And uh, thanks to Mini Bike Mike for, uh, for the recommendation. Uh, I assume everybody that's looking at my YouTube channel here knows of Mini Bike Mike just because he seems to be the authority on uh, CT70s. But uh, if you happen to have not seen his channel, uh, definitely check it out and subscribe. I'll put a link to his uh, channel down in the description below. But overall, pretty happy with this. The only two things that I don't have working right yet, um, or one thing not working right and one thing that needs some adjustment, the neutral indicator light isn't, so when it's plugged in, it's always on, no matter what gear it's in. I'm not sure if that's just the way the semi-automatic motor works um, or if something's wrong with it. So I need to look into that. For now, I just unplugged it so that I don't see it since uh, Neutral is really easy to find on this. You just keep pressing down until you get to the last gear and then it's in neutral. Uh, the neutral indicator light worked on the, the manual transmission bike uh, or the manual transmission motor. Uh, and it was much more important than here. I don't really care. So if I don't get that figured out, it's not a big deal, but I will look into it. And then the other is as I'm going through the gears, uh, all the way down is neutral. Then there's four gears going up, one through four. One and two are easy to get to. Three and four seem to take a lot of force. Uh, although not all the time. Sometimes it just works uh, pretty effortlessly. So I'm not sure if that has to do with it just needing to be broken in uh, or if there's some or if there's some adjustment that needs to be made there. But uh, otherwise, really like the bike. Also, now anybody can ride it since it doesn't require understanding how the clutch system works. Um, and again, the overall look is exactly what I was hoping to have at the end. So uh, really happy with this. Um, it was already finished, but now it's finished again. And uh, we'll keep working on the other 1970 bike.